Hi, this is our brand new product. It's our flagship uh, motherboard ATX form factor that's based on the Coffee Lake, actually even the Coffee Lake refresh. So it's the brand new release from Intel, uh, just coming out hot out of the oven. It's a regular ATX form factor as it's uh, standard practice for Corvallon. On here on the left side, we have two USB 3.1 Gen 1, that's five uh, gigabits per second. That's what people still call USB 3.0 and a display port on the bottom, a regular COM1 and a COM2. We have some additional mm -hmm. COM ports inside of the board, but COM1 can also be configured as a 42 and a 485. Additional graphic capabilities. Uh, we have a VGA connector and a secondary display port. I forgot to mention both of the display ports are DP++. So you have the additional functionality and makes your changing the display port to different uh, to either VGA, HDMI or DVI uh, cheaper by using a cheaper cable. Uh, here we have two uh, gigabit ethernets and a total of four USB 3.1 Gen 2, that's 10 gigabits per second on a USB A type of connector. We thought that this would be a better choice for the majority of the adapters and peripherals that are out there. And uh, our standard audio where you have the microphone, the lining, and the speaker. This motherboard uh, can handle any of the 8th generation processors and the 9th genera generation processors also that are called the Coffee Lake Refresh. And this board is ready for any CPU that you're going to be putting on here besides the ones that we test on the embedded roadmap. And it has the extra uh, power circuitry to handle anything that you want to throw at them and can handle both the C246 chipset and the Q370. Uh, if, when you're using the C246, you can take advantage of the Xeon processors and then also have ECC support on these guys. If you were to be using the Q370 version, the i3 processors also uh, handle ECC, so you would have the advantage of using ECC too if you want to. Slots, now it's the interesting part that we put a lot of thought on. Uh, most. Uh, most of the motherboards that you're going to see out there, they're not going to have that many slots as we have. We have a total of seven slots. And we don't have the by 16 slot in this position that's called seven. We don't have it here. Why is that? If, if, uh, if any of you guys are familiar with the rack mount, a rack mount that's a 2U or 3U using a riser always has the riser plugged in into this slot. So a lot of the motherboards that you see out there in this position will have like a by one slot. So your riser is gonna be very wobbly because you're gonna have this big riser mounting on a very tiny connector. So we never liked that idea. So on our boards, we decided to put a by 16 in this location. So, and another big slot here, that's a by four right behind it. So if you put the big uh, graphics card in here, or if you put the riser card in here, you still have a by four ready to go back here for any additional slots that you got to be plugging in with flex cables or things like that. There's a buy one slot in, in here because usually when you have a graphics card, it's a double wide, so you would be losing a buy one. This here is a buy eight slot, and here we did something very interesting on the board. The majority of people that you're going to see out there, what they are going to be doing is like this. If I plug in a buy 16 card in here, this slot gets disabled. If I put a by four or smaller card in here, this guy gets enabled and you have like, it's basically, it's called bifurcation. And it's basically the by 16 slot that comes from here gets split into two by eights. Uh, we, we thought that would not be a very good idea and it is not because imagine that you're gonna have a graphics card, but you also would like to put a, like a 10 gig fiber card or you want something uh, a little higher end like a rate controller they most of the times would need uh, more than a by four slot, possibly a by eight. So this way what we have is there's, gonna, there's a, a jumper on this motherboard that allows you to actually use select if you want the bifurcation enabled or not. So if the jumper is in one place, by 16 is on, by eight is off, move the jumper, now it's by eight, by eight, and you could, if you wanted to, you have a graphics card in here running it by eight, and you still have this slot ready to go, or you can put another graphics card or a RAID controller or any high performance device that you that you would like. Then we have another by one, another by four, another by one, all back here, all usable. And 
besides these two guys, all of these guys, if that can be seen on the camera, they are actually open slot. So even a card that is a little bigger would fit if it's backwards compatible. So that's why I was saying that you could put a graphics card in here, enable the bifurcation, and put another full blast graphics card in here. It will fit, there's enough clearance. So you could have two high-end graphics cards plugged into this motherboard simultaneously, both of them running at by eight. That typically you would not be able to do if you had the automatic feature, because if you put the graphics card in here, it would disable the slot. Oh, I forgot, there's also another USB 3.1 Gen 1, or the old Gen USB 3.0, also here for front panel. So any of your chassis that would have a cable or something, you can actually plug the cable in here and get additional USB. So there's a lot of USB ports. We try to get the highest performance as possible by adding as many USB uh, 3.1 Gen 2 uh, ports that we could potentially cram onto this board and give you all the functionality without having either or. It's all ready to go and all of them accessible and all of them available for you to use.